It is time for Pop News with Sarah Payne. Can we just say what you didn't see before this started was Michael used one of the staff as a hurdle and literally jumped over her on the way to set. I still got it. I still, I still got it. He likes to remind us that he was a football player. <laughs> Message received. The good old days. Okay. Good old days. We begin pop news with Matthew McConaughey, or rather, should I say, Professor McConaughey? Oh. That's right. The Academy Award winner is joining the University of Texas at Austin as a film professor starting this fall. He's been a visiting instructor since 2015, but now he has officially been appointed as a professor of practice. He's been, yeah co-teaching the script to screen film production course and even helped develop the curriculum to give a behind the scenes view of each stage of a film's production. The Oscar winner earned his own film degree in 1993 from the university and says, quote, it's the class I wish I had had when I was in film school. Wow, that's cool. Can you imagine how class starts every day instead of like, hello, hello everybody. He goes, all right, all right, all right. All right. I was imagining how you're not going to be able to get into that class. Yes. Everyone's going to yeah. decide oh, yeah. they're a film student real quickly. <laughs> but now to the latest in the ongoing bromance between singer Justin Bieber and Cleveland Indians pitcher Shane Bieber. No relation. Just to refresh your memory, earlier this month, a new baseball card for Shane accidentally identified him as Justin in the bio. Shane tweeted about it, and Justin wrote back, I feel like we have a special connection. So when it came time for Shane to step on the diamond at Players Weekend, he wore a jersey that said, quote, not Justin. <laughs> he was also, he has it in red as well. And now the bromance is progressing even further. Justin Bieber was just spotted on his motorcycle wearing a not Shane Bieber jersey. <laughs> Riding on that. Instagram, thanks Shane for the jersey. I love that. That's so cute. And finally, we all have that one friend who is a prankster. It might be Michael Strahan. But at the Mystic Aquarium in Connecticut, that friend happens to be a beluga a whale. Take a look. The whale is checking out the crowd when he suddenly sucks in some water and sprays everyone. Here he goes. But now wait for it. You'll see him laughing at the end. <laughs> Belugas are known for their playful nature, but this one seems to have quite the personality. Mystic Aquarium is home to three beluga whales, a male named Luna and two females, Keela and Natasha. It's unclear which of the trio pulled the prank, but if we had to guess, it might be Natasha. She's 37 years Whoa. old and just got to the park in February, and I'm going to guess it's her because my comedy peaked at 37, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.